uh, as per me uh, luxurious living uh, is something what you uh, you have been asking for and you wish for and you get it and i believe that you should enjoy every inch of the space that you're living in so the nature around you uh, is something which we always uh, thought that we should be using it fully the house we are right now sitting in the client's interests are uh, towards nature it's totally covered with a uh, lot of great views and uh, a lot of greenery around and so much of natural light that's come that comes into this thing it's a part of the biophilic uh, design nature of what we're thinking they wish to have a nice blinds where they can even cover off the light that comes in abundance also another project of mine where I've, we use a technology in the window by color changing glasses we sit in a nice uh, washroom area with a, with a huge tub and we look outside the window and we see nature at the same time we require some privacy that's when i know i change the color of the glass uh, it's again automated you know something which you use with a remote or something and just change it and also the the lights the lights change the whole mood where you have a different uh, uh, intensity of the lights that are being used we have to retain the same light intensity that is used in outside to, to the inside of it where the intensity has to be changed with different light settings when it comes to challenges i could say uh, it's always a compromise for uh, most of the spaces we've been designing where luxury is a bigger factor sustainability has become a huge compromise i just given an example of how it works is furniture very simple i could still do the house with a, with a lot of local furniture but uh, uh, the insistence or for the luxury that matters is a good brand to come into the picture which is probably available in the rest of the world and i to use logistics i mean i to use a little more money to get inside it doesn't come under the factor of sustainability at all because i'm spending lot more money and lot more energy to get into it same with uh, waste management with so much of material being used sometimes to get that nice detail so much of wastage these kind of factors which have been really, really difficult for us to actually balance both of it but uh, sustainability always at least in my projects took a back step most of the most of the projects where luxury came into the picture i always believe that young minds work much faster and be more creative than what we've been through and maybe the youngsters who are much better off with uh, getting hold on this technology and uh, innovation which they have been learning and by through their travels a lot their understanding is much faster things like artificial intelligence and so much of software and uh, new technology that's come into the picture innovation could be one thing that you can start working on next is uh, a lot of art how does it actually enhance to a space rather than doing a lot of paneling where you cut in on a material and putting up a nice piece of art which is going to uh, be a piece that's going to stay all through your life for me being recognized by two world renowned organizations one is uh, kohler other one is forbes india which has been so strong in you know putting forward a lot of people's work and i should be thankful to uh, for an organization like this to actually uh, have given an opportunity to sit in front of you and talk about my ideas and uh, maybe with this i probably will develop my standards much better and work a little more harder to actually maintain the standards